action here. Along the right field line. And Rizzo on the ledge. He's got it. Oh, what a play. <laughs> well, the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give them the gold glove right now. Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana, makes the catch! MLB Network has baseball coming your way from the home of the Mets, City Field. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets. Looking forward to this matchup, and it's next on MLB Network. Noah Syndergaard is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he's been quite durable. Over 200 innings, it tells me he's been healthy. He's not afraid to take the baseball. We're getting to that point, though, where you start talking about the conversation and you hear the whispers of limiting his innings. We'll see if this is the beginning of them limiting his workload moving forward. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Down low, two balls and a strike. These Mets herald as they take the field here today. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matt, we're watching the team on a roll right now, but they're on a roll at the right time. They're starting to play well towards the end of the season here, and the postseason is coming. So you want to get on that roll and hit the postseason full stride. Oh, that looked like a pretty good pitch to hit. It's a little bit late, so he might have been just fooled just a tad bit, just enough not to square it up. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. A moment now to take a look at the visiting Washington Nationals. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. In now is Adam Eaton. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. You know, Simmons has a strike zone that can benefit both pitchers and hitters. It just depends on where in that zone the pitch is located. Sometimes that leads to both sides being totally happy, and sometimes both get frustrated. And another foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch third. and such a Second dangerous base. pitch, too. Sometimes Daniel it moves so Murphy. much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He's currently tied for second place on the team in home runs. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. That was an interesting pitch, Matt. Look, we're in a double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that hard sinker. Get that ground ball, maybe get a double play. But he didn't throw it. He just threw a fastball. I don't know what he's doing right now, but he got it in there for a strike. Again, he sends it out of play. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff four. working for him these days. Right looking back at his last start, he racked right. up nine Ks, Harper. and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. Here's Bryce Harper now. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. One and one, here it comes. Nope, and a curveball that time that broke too low. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. A runner on first with two away. 
smoke toward the hole. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, sometimes you gotta just get lucky. We got out in front, hooked it, and just found the hole. Rendon. Now at the plate, Anthony Rendon he comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. Two men are on with two men out. On the ground to the left side. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. That's leave a pair. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Gio Gonzalez gets the ball for Washington in this one. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, he's coming off his 10th win of the season, and you start getting that number 10, you start breaking out of that single digits, you start feeling good about yourself. I think he's at that point now where he's starting to trust his stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing if he trusts it in this ball game as well. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Last night was a good one for him as he turned in a four for five effort. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. As if things aren't tough enough here playing in this hostile environment, he walks the leadoff hitter. And oh, yeah, he's a threat to run every time he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this outing. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's in there, base hit. This is when you really know you're on a hot streak. When a ball falls in like that, you sit back and you just say, I'll take it. Into the box, Michael Conforto. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Well, that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you, what, that was a nice curve. Just really frozy. Good breaking ball. Here's the one and two delivery. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Easy, Just keeping him close. play ball to second four six three and they turn the double play time now to take a look at Terry Collins Mets starting lineup in this one who's the one to watch Dan well Matt I can't wait to see if La Potencia you want to can keep it going this guy knows how to drive in runs had over 25 runs batted in last month you've got to pay attention to how he goes about it ground balls fly balls home runs any way to drive it a run and that's what he's doing he tries to have a major impact on every game he plays in so coming to the plate Joanna Cespedes and as the season nears an end he currently leads the league and runs batted in here it comes on one and one but this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. Here's Adam Lind. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. One and one. Here it comes. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. That's 
And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. Here's Jason Worth. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. Two one here it is liner towards second in there a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now back to back Johnny hits Hayes. and now the inning is set up they're trying to put the first back. run on the board so Weeder. you can bunt move them up now you're second and third you may draw the infield in or if they sit back to get the easy ground ball and you pick up the first run of the game but it's all set up with those back to back singles and now you can do whatever you want to do with the rest of the inning I like the pitch right there two strike fastball out of the zone see if he'll chase I'd go the third route this time see if he chases it again fastball swung on and missed for the first down well let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Johnny Majestic Knight. and I'm looking down there at the catcher Travis Dorno the thing about Travis not a big guy and he's had some injuries along the way but if he can stay healthy he's got a great pitching staff to catch coming to the plate now Gio Gonzalez and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a bunt attempt here. Reyes on to first but not in time as he beats it out. The batter number seven. Short Stepping in and ready Trey. for another shot. Trey Turner. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. That's leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. In now, Wilmer Flores. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Another 2 2 offering. A fastball that just misses inside. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out. Another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think it's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. He'll try it again, three and two. Hit in the air to right field. Harper giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Nationals. And in the outfield, Bryce Harper, you know, when he first broke into the league when he was 19, 20 years old, he was running around like a crazy man all over the place, like a little jackrabbit, out of control. He's calmed it down now, and he's really become a nice outfielder. Stepping in, David Wright. The average on the season sits right at 290 to begin the day. One and one, here it comes. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. One and two, here it comes. Hit out towards second. Murphy's got it. Pro to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. Starting seventh. Catcher. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, in head to head meetings with Gio Gonzalez. Four hits in 18 at bats. Oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. 
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. On the ground up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. That's a nice controlled two strike approach. You cut your swing down and all you want to do is see the ball and hit it. Here's Juan Ligares. It was a three hit effort from him last night so he was a big part of that victory. Just stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Ready now, Noah Syndergaard. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. Almost big trouble there, but he'll wind up stranding two as the side is retired. Some fans still trickling into the ballpark as we get you set for the top of inning number three. Digging in to try it again, Adam Eaton. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. And this is fouled back and out of play. Ready on one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. All even at two and two. Here it is. This one's flared out toward left. Conforto coming in. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. So with one gone, time for our look at the current standings. As you can see, these guys really have a comfortable lead in the division race to this point in the season. Riding in once again, Daniel Murphy. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one out double. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing okay, right there. Good weight transfer, right good hands to the right. ball, solid Harper. contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Standing in now, Bryce Harper. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there, two and two. Well, Matt, this is a situation in the last night's game. They didn't do a very good job driving in runs. Now, in this game, the capitalized. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Well, we always expect him. If he's got two hits Anthony in the hit column, something's going to be over the boards. But, hey, he'll take the two singles. Not complaining. Into the box now, Anthony Rendon. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Anthony Rendon is out number two here in the third inning. Ready for another chance, Adam Lind. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Third inning, no score to this point. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. This one misses and that'll fill the count here three and two with two away. All right three two count with two outs the runner on first will be moving so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. 
Conforto is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Nats leave a pair. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Two and one now to Reyes. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Now the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Stepping in now, T.J. Rivera. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Softly hit here to the left side. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Well, when your average is down that low, you'll take any kind of hit. He'll take that all day long right the there. Fielder number 30, Michael Conforto. Into the box, Michael Conforto. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting. Digging in for his right. second hey at there. bat, Joanna Cespedes. Yo, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two out with the man at first. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Gonzalez comes set. One two on its way. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one man left aboard. Three innings complete and we are tied nothing nothing. Here's Jason Ward, one for one after a single his first time up. The one one on its way to Ward. Grounded down the third baseline. Throw bounces up to him at the bag and he's able to cover up and hang on. Not the most fluid play but he's out nonetheless. Weeder. Here's the catcher Matt Weeters now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Weeters awaits the 1-1. One, one. Right on that thing as this is smoked into center field for a base hit. Well, this cold streak had seen him drop his average below 220, so that's a welcome single not only for him, but the manager as well. Gonzalez. Standing in now, Gio Gonzalez. And this ball is going to get fouled. So if you're Dusty Baker now, do you leave the bunt sign on? Here's the one and two. Bunt sign still on on one and two, and he gets this one down. The second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Now batting. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He's gone down on strikes twice already in this one. And Dan, when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Matt. When you have a good hitter like this and you've punched him out twice already, you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't dominate him for a third time. This is popped up, and here's Flores to make the catch, and the side is retired. Nationals leave one. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Yeah. 
so digging in now Wilmer Flores comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Two balls and a strike here it is. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. It. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. The third baseman, number five. Here's the third David. baseman, David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Well, he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot. And look at how careful he's been pitching him. Called strike two as he locks him up there. That's pretty good break right there. Breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Now at the plate, Travis Darno. He reached on a single in his first try. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a two out single. Good work in a pitcher's count to get on base and keep the inning alive. Well, that's what you Center call a two strike approach. Anything close, you're swinging. Long this power. ball's out of the zone, but it's something he can handle. Don't leave it up to the umpire to make the call. If you can reach it, hit it. In now, Juan Ligaris. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Eaton is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Met strand one through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. In now is Adam Eaton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. And that one stayed up a little high. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Flores. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Here's Daniel Murphy now. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. No runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw gets him two down. The right fielder number 34. Ready for another Bryce shot now. Harper. Bryce Harper. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. No runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Back goes Lagares. Into the Big Apple seats and gone. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Career homer number 149. As the Nationals strike first, it's one to nothing. He was totally dialed in for the first two hitters, seducing a couple of easy grounders. Then he catches way too much of the plate on the third guy, and it winds up in the seats. Sometimes you can fall in the trap of not focusing all the way through the end of an inning when you're rolling out there on the mound. That might have happened here. Stepping in now, Anthony Rendon. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. He's really been good this game. Around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now he finds himself a little bit of a hole, but he can battle back. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ligaris racing back, 
but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap, and he is in the second with a two-out double. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been now torching them all the weekend, and he stays hot here with another man. extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Into the box now. Adam Lind down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. And a fastball just a bit up. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. But the Nationals do get a run on the Bryce Harper home run. Middle of the afternoon here in the Big Apple. It's now 1 0 Washington. Digging in now, Noah Syndergaard. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Swing and a line drive. And he's retired one away. A shortstop. Number seven. Ready once Jose again. Jose Reyes, Reyes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. After it is eaten. Two gone. The batter. First and that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Driven down the left field line, will it stay fair? And this will find its way to the 335 sign. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores it. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. And the screen shows the story right there as that hitting streak will live to see another day. Oh, he's just swinging the bat beautifully. What confidence to come to the ballpark knowing you got a great streak going to swing the bat well. It's fun watching him right now. Into the box, Yoenis Cespedes. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Eaton is under it, and that retires the side. Two left for the Mets. It remains one nothing. Riding in once again, Jason Wirt. He's one for two in the ball game. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. You know, this is the kind of location you can get away with when you throw your fastball like that. That's certainly not where he wanted it to end up. But when it's coming in that hot, it's tough for guys to put it in play, especially when they're protecting with two strikes. Standing in now, Matt Wieters. 
And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Gio Gonzalez. Ready for another shot now. Gio Gonzalez. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the one and one delivery. A fastball that finds the outside corner. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Ready for another chance? Wilmer Flores, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to left, number 10 for him on the year, as the Mets have come back to tie things at one. a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys but he's getting hot here in September that bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October we'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most no outs nobody on stepping in now David Wright a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a solo shot here for David Wright. Number 11 for him on the season. And the Mets move out to a 2-1 lead. I know height sights 2020 but you can't throw that pitch to that guy don't forget he homered yesterday so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there we'll see if he learns from that mistake now the national skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and a change is coming up as that's going to be all for Gio Gonzalez he'll wind up lasting Your just five wins. innings here didn't pitch all Washington. that poorly yet he's gone Number nonetheless 50. Vance Worley Vance. Will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. In now, Travis Darno. He swings and grounds it to short. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Just a really solid play up the middle as we get another look with show track. Had to go over 20 feet to get to it, and then he uncorked a strong and accurate throw to beat the runner. These guys make it look easy, but that very easily could have been a base hit. Into the box now, Juan Ligares. Slider just off the black there, and it's to two and one now. Head to head history with Vance Worley. A three for five line to show for those meetings. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. 
And the slider misses low and away here. It's ball four. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Matt Reynolds will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side. And no one will get this one. Well, you knew it was coming. That's a standard two strike high fastball and he executed it. But I've got to give you credit, man. He fouled that ball off. Nice job and hit it. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Here's a pop up now. Lynn there to take this one and there are two gone now. Shortstop. Here's the shortstop now Jose Reyes okay. head to head history with Vance Worley just three for 14. Gets the sign here comes the 2 1. A curveball that catches the inside corner. Well he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Ligaris run. Line drive to left. Worth is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We're through six full. It's the Mets two and the Nats one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Jerry Blevins is on to pitch from the bullpen the now to start inning number seven. Number 39, Jerry Blevins. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Dribbled to the right side. That winds up foul. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first Number out. Two, Adam Eaton. Ready once again, Adam Eaton. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. One out, nobody on. For the shortstop, Reyes. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Lifetime against this pitcher. Four hits in 17 at bats. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. They're down 2-1. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. The one and two pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The left fielder, number 30. Michael Conforto. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Conforto. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Oh. 
And here's a ball hit in the air. Rendon is there for it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting, right fielder. Here's your one Cespedes. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Worth is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. They lead it two to one. Josh Edgen has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Ready on one and two. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Pulled him just enough with that pitch to get him go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there. Standing in now Anthony Rendon takes this the other way to right but this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Boy talk about hitting into some rough luck that was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught and he would have represented a tying run. Stepping in now Adam Lind takes a fastball on the inside corner. The 2 2 pitch. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner and he can't believe it. I don't blame him but the inning is over. Three up three down for Washington. Our score remains two to one. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Wilmer Flores. He went deep last time up. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. He's really throwing the ball well in this game. And the thing to me that stands out is that two-seamer. He's got great movement, and he's keeping hitters off balance with it. Here's a high pop-up. Room for Weeders behind the plate. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. The third baseman, number five, David. Stepping in and ready for another shot, David Wright. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Line to the right side, and he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well executed pitches. Batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. In now, Travis Darno. Down the third baseline. Scooped up on the backhand. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets, as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. 
Jerry's Familia takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Jerry's Familia. Here's Jason Warren. He'll lead it off against Jerry's Familia, who will try to close the door in this one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Ripped on the ground to first. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. Now that's a big base hit. Late in the game, you're down one. Now you got the leadoff guy on now. The rest of the way, it'll be interesting to me. How are they going to manufacture? Will they bunt him over to move him into scoring position? Will they hit a gapper? Let's see how they score this run. They can possibly push him forward. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Into the box, Matt Wieters. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Rivera is over, and he puts it away for the first down. Ryan Zimmerman will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 11, Ryan Zimmerman. Runner at first here, one man out. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Well, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Here's the payoff pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. Cespedes will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. The batter, number seven. Digging in to try Turner. it again. Trey Turner looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about. And they definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. Pitching and defense game two to one the final score this afternoon. The New York Mets earn home victory number 50 on the season. Noah Syndergaard wins for a league high total 24th time. Jerry Spamilia wraps it up for the save number 38. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Two runs on eight hits. No errors. Left eight minutes. Ground ball to short. This should end it. Lindor sets. He throws. And the Cleveland Indians of 2016 have set the franchise record with their 14th consecutive win. And oh, baby, did they earn it. Going 19 <laughs> innings north of the border. You're not kidding. They certainly earned it. That should count for two. And it only took six hours and 13 minutes. Malone looking for his first hit of the year.